This is Tina Phillips from A Wild Plan, and I am going to share with you kind of a redo of um, a sticker set category using master categories to uh, organize all of your stickers into different sets, including I've added a bunch more of free stationery for you. Uh, I had Krista had asked me to create a lot more categories because she adopted this and found this to be the easiest way to use to to store her stickers in a way that was visual but visual and made more sense uh, performance wise as good notes will get kind of sluggish on you if you try to put all of your stickers in one sticker book so um you can either decide to have multiple sticker books um that have all the hyperlinks and stuff in there but to me for sticker books hyperlinks doesn't totally makes sense in that you can just add pages and things like that but I prefer this method in that you can visually see everything and kind of like make sure you know where you are and everything is in kind of like little chunks um, and this happened just because I was converting my entire sticker uh, set for my store into pre-cropped stickers for everyone so they wouldn't have to do the pre the cropping which is tedious and boring and people hated it and um, it just wasn't fun so um, this, is, this was kind of a, a happy accident. So what I did was I created my own stationery to hold these stickers so I kind of knew what they were. And then I ended up sharing this and making different, um, different types of stationery for people with different wording on it so they could use, use these for their own things. So they are all, obviously had a label on there. And Krista had asked me to make some more. So this is why I'm kind of like sharing this again and making it a little bit better, especially with better audio. So uh, what, you do, what you're going to do is you're going to go to my website and you're going to download um, the, the, temp, the, the zip file, which is just a bunch of PDFs. So you can unzip that and uh, into your cloud uh, service or whatever. And you're going to go back into GoodNotes and go under Options. And then you want to hit the Template Library. And I'm going to go ahead and load this. I already have, you have in here, you have covers down here, and then you have papers. And I'm sure people have used the covers before, but probably the papers don't, doesn't get used as much as it, you, I would have liked. Um, but uh, I have some under here called wild papers. So you can create your own category by just clicking that little plus sign in the upper left-hand corner and then typing in your own name. But I'm going to go ahead and use wild paper. And once I'm in wild paper, I just hit edit. And then I want to add. So I've saved all of these Dropbox, all of these um, templates in Dropbox. And so I'm going to go back to my where I saved all my lovely stuff and sticker stationery. And as you can see, I have a bunch of different named. I mean, you can you can choose which whatever ones you want. Um, you don't technically have to. So I'm going to go ahead and put Washi in here. So Washi is now part of my stationery. So I have all these other stationery in there. So now you can see washi at the bottom and I want to hit done. Uh, and then you're just going to do this one by one, but you only have to do it once because once it's in like the little stationary area, you don't have to worry about it anymore. So you can make as many washi uh, notebooks as you can, as you need to in order to store all of your washi tape. So what you're going to do is say, I want to create a notebook. You want to keep the cover blank, but you're going to want to change the, the template. So say this is going to be my washi one. So I'm going to select washi and even call it washi tape. You want to create it in the right category. First, you want to create the category, master category, under here. And I've created mine as just all stickers. And then inside, I put different, I have a new format for sticker sets. And then I have my existing sticker sets, which are all in here. And I've created the washi in here. So now you can just start adding this, and then this isn't uh, this template's not going to be hindered by your stickers. You can even put stickers on top of that. It's not going to like select anything or whatever. And then if you wanted to, you can actually do more pages if you want to. But I mean, I don't encourage a whole lot because once you start storing, there's that's a lot of stickers. So you want to be nice to your um, be nice to your iPad, and not not make it do a whole lot at the same time. Um, and so once you're done with that, when you ever you need uh, washi tape you can always have your planner open and let's go to a planner and I'm just gonna go to this one let's go to March. okay so now you have 
your planner open and then just by selecting different tabs at the top up here you can have quick access to things and you're basically creating your own kind of like your own navigation here as you go by just simply having files open so you have like this lovely secondary uh, navigation that you created on the fly with endgood notes that helps you kind of keep going and working the way you need to that day it's a lot more flexible um, and uh, it's using good notes more in the way it was intended to work and I am not totally against the hyperlinks. I do like them for specific purposes when needed. I just, I get a little worried that we're gonna end up with that Amazon graveyard thing going on where you had like 8,000 different um, different tabs going on and it got way too complicated and it took up a lot of room and you ended up having no room to really see what was on the site. You just saw links to everything instead that looked like tabs. Um, so I do caution people against that. And I'm going to get off my soapbox now. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. I will put the link to the free stationery if you guys want to try this method. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.